Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about pink privilege. But before we get to that, here's our today's sponsor of this video. Virtual Shield is a VPN, a virtual private network that can mask your IP address while you're browsing the web, meaning that your internet service provider, or anyone else for that matter, can't keep tabs of what you're doing online. In this clip, we see a common theme, and that's pretty interfaces that really have nothing to do with hacking. Too much information just coming up and down, and it's too quick for you to actually obtain any useful information. So you can be sure that nobody, no hackers or government agencies, nobody is listening or peeking in on what you're doing. And with IdentiSafe Plus, the digital file shredder gives you assurance that when you delete something, it actually stays gone forever. I've been recently getting comments on my videos from people saying that all you need to protect your privacy online and block all surveillance attempts is to just use a VPN or virtual private network. VPNs are supposed to secure your traffic by sending it through an encrypted tunnel and give you a different IP address so that your true IP address is not revealed to the websites and services you are connecting to. This sounds like it is all you need to be private or even anonymous on the web and block all trackers from Google, Facebook and others. But it's not and it's due to the fundamental technology of virtual private networks that make it impossible for them to achieve these goals. Your VPN provider can still see everything your internet service provider can see. All your traffic, logs, devices, browser history, all that prevents your VPN provider from abusing this information against you is their promise. Virtual private networks offer privacy by policy, not privacy by design. That is, nothing technologically prevents your VPN from monitoring your traffic and do with it whatever they want, sell it, throttle it, or censor it. But even if you get a reputable VPN provider that doesn't sell or misuse your data, you can still be easily tracked and identified on the web. Your IP address is only one of the many thousands of data points modern trackers collect about you. For example, most websites are running Google Analytics or other Google tracking services. Many VPN providers themselves are running Google trackers on their websites. This means that even if you log off of your Google account, you are still being tracked and over a short time, the data you generate becomes comprehensive enough to identify you. Anything from snippets of your browsing history, cache, cookies, browser configuration, your device configuration, along with your operating system, battery life, and screen resolution can be uniquely identifying. Advanced trackers use device IDs or advertising IDs given to you if you sign up for any of the Google, Apple, Microsoft, or Facebook services. These tracking IDs aren't anonymous as they are usually tied to your phone number, banking details, or a real address. They can track all of your online activities across the web and devices, and can even be used to track your offline purchases in physical stores. Many websites get to even see these unique IDs when you visit them. Hiding your IP address doesn't do anything to block these trackers. On mobile devices, it becomes completely useless as you're often connected to GPS or cellular networks that also reveal your location. But I think people didn't get these expectations out of the blue. I partly blame VPN providers themselves for this misinformation, specifically the way they market their own services. Almost every VPN provider religiously uses the same talking points. Virtual Shield works on PCs, Macs, Chrome, Firefox, I... Proprietary software should not exist and should not be used. If you want to have freedom, the only way you can have it while using computers is by rejecting proprietary software. Serve anonymously. Hide your IP address and location. Our VPN service is anonymous. It's oftentimes the first thing you see on a VPN website. Be completely anonymous on the internet. Your VPN tunnel ensures safe, anonymous surfing. Fruit VPN masks your personal IP and makes it harder for third parties to know who you are on the internet for you to surf the web anonymously. Be totally invisible. The websites you're visiting or the application you're using will never know you're there. They'll only see VPN HD's IP address and location. 
that's not the only thing they see. They see what browser you use, what plugins, fonts, add-ons, themes and settings you installed and changed, and what device and software you use. Anonymous surfing is not what you are getting if you sign up for a VPN. I find it troubling how quickly they go from become anonymous to sign up here. And many people will pay for their services expecting they are no longer being tracked, only to have their entire online presence tracked anyway because they didn't block and delete web trackers and still use Chrome instead of Firefox in private mode. No VPN service is anonymous. Most of them require your email address upon sign up and most payment methods will reveal your identity directly unless they accept cryptocurrency, which is only pseudonymous, or cash, which can be truly anonymous. But cash is very rarely accepted, and even then, your VPN provider always knows your real IP address. So yes, they change your IP address, but they are also your single point of failure. So if the server or the whole VPN is compromised, all traffic leads directly to your IP address and your devices. I'm not saying that VPN providers are responsible for explaining all of this, but they shouldn't proactively try to make a room for unrealistic expectations. But unfortunately, that's what most of them are doing. In some examples like Proton VPN, they go as far as to say our anonymous VPN service enables internet without surveillance. That's not what they are doing. VPNs are the easiest thing for the government to monitor. Oftentimes they just go to a VPN provider directly and force them to reveal all user data or even start logging them if they didn't do it until then. If they don't comply, they hack them. Most VPN providers won't have means and resources to battle this in court, so they are incentivized to just fulfill the request. And even just searching for and showing interest in privacy and security tools is going to raise their attention, so if you don't take any further steps, you are likely just exposing yourself with a VPN service even more. But wait a minute, aren't virtual private networks supposed to encrypt all of my traffic and make it impossible for anyone to see? But that's what they are all saying after all. Encrypt all your internet traffic, protect yourself from cyber threats. Private Internet Access Service encrypts your connection. When connected, your data will be secured and encrypted, keeping all your personal details private. Avoid being hacked or tracked using powerful encryption. Protect yourself from hacking and surveillance with 256-bit AES encryption. Even NordVPN, which I chose to affiliate with for this channel, overstates their encryption. Stay secure online no matter what or real internet privacy is just a click away. Technically, none of these are lying. They are encrypting your traffic, but only from your device to their servers. The traffic is only encrypted for your own network that is usually enabled by your ISP and or maybe you're connecting to a free Wi-Fi in a coffee shop. But as soon as the traffic leaves the server of your VPN provider, it is decrypted. It has to be Otherwise, the request couldn't be fulfilled. That is the technology of the internet. This encryption is useful at making it difficult to snoop on your traffic as it travels from your device to the VPN server. But VPNs are not connecting you to any hidden overlay network like Tor does. They are connecting you to the clear net, regular internet. This may sound like common sense, but common sense to whom? They are non-tech savvy people who want to stay secure and they don't have the knowledge or expertise to verify the claims or understand the functions of virtual private networks. You are more secure on a VPN, but saying nobody can see your traffic under any circumstances is like saying, if you are wearing a bulletproof vest, you can't die. So let's get the record straight. VPNs are not NSA proof. Global adversaries that tap into undersea fiber optic cables can easily monitor your traffic and correlate the timings between connections from your device and from your VPN server. Almost any third-party company or government agency can just go to a VPN provider directly and request data on users and most VPN providers aren't likely to fight that. VPNs don't make you anonymous. 
they just don't. Even if they offer multiple hops, that is, multiple servers you connect to before you visit a website, all of these are still enabled by the same provider, so it's the same single point of failure. Tor Network is anonymous because none of the three hops are from the same provider, and none of them knows the full length of the traffic. VPNs hide your traffic from your internet service provider, which can be useful as part of a comprehensive privacy strategy, but it's only one out of many steps you need to take if you really want to have online privacy. Paying for a VPN service is a waste of money if you don't take those steps first. It really is. Your browser history is still collected if you don't use private browsing and tools like uBlock Origin, Cookie Auto Delete, and NoScript to block trackers, ads, and cookies that follow you everywhere. Your internet service provider deploys their own trackers and cookies. For example, Verizon uses everything from the fallen Yahoo empire to track people everywhere. These trackers are collecting information about you, your habits, interests, likes, and preferences that are unique to you. If you send in to Google, Facebook, Apple, or other online accounts, they are tracking you until you sign off and delete all of their trackers and cookies. There are great benefits to using a VPN though, but I haven't seen that many people talking about it honestly and truthfully like this example from the Linus Tech Tips. You might use a VPN for any number of reasons, from accessing region-blocked content to logging into your school's library from off-campus to obfuscating your IP address when you're uh, <clears throat> legally downloading backups of your movies and games. But did you know that a VPN can be used to potentially save thousands of dollars on your next airplane ticket? It's really the online anonymity and privacy that became the core marketing point of many, many VPN providers. There are great benefits to using a VPN though. VPNs are useful at bypassing censorship and geo-blocking. They might be helpful at preventing throttling of your internet traffic by your ISP. They can be a part of your privacy protection if you are using a VPN you can trust and you reside in a country with lax privacy protection laws. VPNs also help you secure yourself on public Wi-Fis, like as I mentioned earlier in a coffee shop or a library. But as a rule of thumb, don't use a VPN service with expectations of strong privacy and anonymity because that's not what the VPN technology was developed for. I've made plenty of videos on how you can sufficiently protect yourself on the web, so I recommend you start here. All the tools I mentioned are explained in my tutorials, so be sure to check them out. I hope you learned something new today, and if you did, leave a like and share this video, and comment your thoughts or questions. Thank you for watching.